again, Dr. Anjani Yong. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I'm here to talk to you about the science behind wrinkles and how we acquire them. So in this video, we'll talk about wrinkles and the two key players in the formation of wrinkles, largely collagen and elastin. Collagen and elastin are two proteins that are critical for the scaffolding of our skin, lending it its suppleness, firmness and elasticity. Over time, as we age, we produce less collagen and elastin, and this then gives rise to increased laxity and sagginess of the skin. Now, wrinkles can be broadly categorised into static and dynamic wrinkles. So, at the earliest onset, when we first start to age, we start to see signs of dynamic wrinkles. And this can happen in your 20s to early 30s. Now, dynamic wrinkles are correctable. So, basically, if you stop moving in that area, the dynamic wrinkles goes away. So, this happens when you repeatedly contract certain muscle groups in a very high movement area, such as the upper half of the face. This happens typically in your forehead lines if you like to raise your brows up very often. Happens over the lateral canthal region, which is the lateral side of the eyes. And this happens when you smile a lot and squint a lot. And sometimes when you frown a lot, you get this number 11 in the mid zone of your face. So this is a very typical area that we may treat with certain treatments such as botulinum toxin if the dynamic wrinkles become very prominent and then give rise to early static rhytids. Now, dynamic wrinkles basically are like if you take a piece of paper and you repeatedly keep contracting or folding the paper. Now, over time, that line that goes away when you unfold the paper is going to become deeper and deeper set. And that's what we consider a static wrinkle or an etched wrinkle. So, static wrinkles can also run the gamut from very surface to very deep set etched ones where the contraction happens repeatedly over a number of years. So, you find that in older patients, you would typically have a combination of not only static but also dynamic rhytids, and this is accentuated on movement. Now, at the earliest sign of static rhytids, it is time to take some prevention so that these lines don't become any worse. So, as mentioned earlier, sometimes treatments such as botulinum toxin can be very useful at preventing this from getting worse over time. Now, if the lines are very, very static, you may need further treatments. Sometimes it may be a resurfacing treatment such as microneedling radiofrequency, fractional ablative lasers, or even sometimes very surface injectable treatments such as certain fillers to help to lift those lines as well. So, as you can understand, wrinkles actually are different depending on the location as well as the severity. So, it starts off always being dynamic and then over time it becomes a surface, static right hit, and then a deep set, very deep furrow. And really, this is about severity that progresses over time. So, there are also other factors that aggravate that as well. Of course, other than intrinsic factors such as genetics as well as the passage of time, extrinsic factors are very important to prevent as well. And the number one extrinsic factor has to be UV radiation or undue sun exposure. Cumulative sun exposure and damage over time gives rise to increased degradation of collagen and elastic fibres. Secondly, smoking. Smoking is not a good habit to, to have. Basically, that increases the free radical stress on your body and your skin and gives rise to earlier formation of wrinkles as well. Thirdly, let's consider factors such as your diet. So a diet that's poor in, in antioxidants may also give rise to earlier or premature aging with the formation of right hits. And fourthly, adequate rest. If you don't sleep enough and you don't have enough rest, this can also give rise to more tiredness in your skin as well as poor cell cycle turnover and poor cellular remodeling giving rise to poorer formation of good scaffolding of the skin. And so there you have it, the science of static and dynamic wrinkles in a nutshell, as well as some of the accompanying extrinsic factors that can further aggravate the formation of wrinkles. If you like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the subscribe button. And also stay tuned to our next video where we will deep dive into more different types of wrinkles and how they can affect you.